there's the other part of the rail line, look how old that is. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Midlands Outdoor Channel today, back with another special episode. And I think many of you are going to enjoy this one if you are into your car mining industry. As well as myself, I've been to some abandoned car mines before, and they're really quite interesting. Now this one holds much history, some of the buildings are apparently still here. This is actually known as Kinlick Colliery, which is down by the River Severn, near to Hiley. So Hiley was actually known for its car mining industry. But yeah, it is amazing. I'm gonna go and check it out, see what it's got to offer. I will tell you a bit of history, a bit of information, and a look around. What's gonna be here is gonna be anything left at all. Let's go and check it out. So I think this is actually the gate, so we've got to go through here. If we just open this, it should take us all the way to the coal mine. Absolutely muddy. Cut that. Oh. So I saw a quick zoom in. I've actually found the first piece. Now that there is actually the mineral railway line, what actually linked into the coal mine. So you've got the bit of bridge there. So looking what's down there. Yeah. So that's uh, the Bawley Brook, isn't it? So that's definitely the old railway bridge, so I'm guessing the coal mine is up there. I mean, I've just been looking at this. That looks like some sort of air vent, so it's probably letting all the gases out from the mine. So that would have gone all the way down into a shaft. So I'm hoping that it is up to there. So right, we've actually got the first building. Can't believe this is even really still here. I mean, look at the uh, the outside of it. If I just quickly get round the corner. Wow. As if this is even still here at all. That is really cool, look at that. The vats have got to be an engine house or where they pumped all the water out. Look at that. That is really similar to the mine that's by me, Horn Colliery, which is still abandoned today. And you see the windows from there, look. Wow. And there is their danger keep out onto that section. So I'm guessing there is something in there as well. Right, let's go have a quick look. Oh, wow. Look at this. That is absolutely amazing. Drops right the way down, look. And you can just see there, look at that metal thing just peeking right the way out. Door entrance right at the back, if I just quickly zoom in. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing to see that. So having a quick look from here, look at that. That is amazing to see that. I just really can't believe that is even still here. Wow, gotta show you this. Let's uh, zoom in and go show the top. Right, I've just noticed this, and the date on this is impressive. Look at this, zooming right the way in. Kinlit Colliery, 1896. Oh, wow. That is amazing just to see that. That's really impressive. The see it's like from the 18th century. I do believe that Kinlit Colliery closed around 1937, but I will double check over the history in a bit. But one more time, just looking right the way at that. That is really cool. Wow. But what I'm looking at right here is this. Because it's got onto there, danger keep out. So is there a shaft in there? Let's have a quick look. I mean, look at these stairs. And these stairs led up to something. So maybe there would have been like one of them winding wheels here, maybe. So I'm guessing this could have been part of a winding wheel. Yeah, I can definitely see something there. Uh, so that's why it says danger keep out. 
Right, let's go and make our way down. Yeah, similar to Horn Colliery. Now this here would have been where the uh, the winding wheel would have been, so it would have actually dropped down into the shaft. I think they've put a bit of a uh, concrete over the top of it to keep it like that, but I don't think the shaft is actually open. It's definitely closed. So again, we've got another another thing that drops all the way down. It's quite cool. Oh wow, <laughs> look at the side of this. Now what is that there? That's quite interesting, it's a bit of brick wall. But it goes right in and it is pretty dark. Let's go and check out what it is. I can see it's like a bit of a, an entrance there to something. Oh wow, <laughs> that is really cool, look at this. Wow, hole there, look, going right away up. I mean, look at this bit here. It's been a bit careful of the floor, just in case. But look at that, nice arches, look. Wow, and looking right the way up there. So there would have been, like, attachments up there, if I quickly zoom in. Look at those. I mean, there's, like, nails sticking out, look. This is absolutely amazing. I can't believe this is even here. <laughs> now there looks interesting because it's making you wonder, did this prop down into a shaft maybe? Because you would have had a, like a winding thing. Now there would have been like a Gilbert fan house. It's like a wheel. And they normally called it a fan house. It's like a big wheel inside a building. It would prop uh, air down into the shaft to circle that oxygen into the mine. So I do believe there would have been one of those over here. But that is interesting, let's pan around and show you this. So why this brick missing on the bottom, it does go a bit in. So it's make a wonder, did this used to uh, go down maybe? Because it is filled with soil here. And it's hard to know what possibly what it could have been for. I mean, there's like little rooms. Let's go and take a look down this back one. Oh wow, it goes even further around, look. So there is like pipes as well, there's a pipe there. So maybe that's actually pumping water out the mine. So yeah, better look at the pipe there, look at that pipe. Coming right away down, look. Wow. And once more, very old like uh, metal beams, look, sticking out from the top. Metal bit there, look at the side. There's the old winding cable, look. Yeah, I was looking at that cable. So that cable would have been attached onto the wheel and that would have sent the people under the ground. Mm. You see there, look, better look at it. Very thick wire. Shamba's no remains inside there. Oh no. I mean, it keeps going down. Cool. Like alleyways, look. Yeah. Looking what's down this one. I mean, that one's the same, look at this. So there would have been lots of sections of floors up there, maybe. I mean, it goes further down. Same distance to what I come from, look. So I don't think it does lead out to anywhere. And here's a bit of information on the mine. So it basically opened in the 1890s by the Hyde Miley Company. Sinking started about 1890 to reach the Brooch Her Seam, a good quality coal seam, about three foot nine inches thick. A large horizontal steam winding engine house was built in 1896. Make a wonder was this actually that thing. Um, so it's a uh, which uh, round up from the upcast uh, shaft. Steam was provided by four Lancashire boilers. A fan house at the rear of the larger winder house worked the downcast or back shaft. A small horizontal winder also worked this shaft. Screens were erected around the upcast shaft with coal being loaded into railway wagons and set down an incline to join the branch line from Billingsley Colliery and eventually the GWR main line of what is now the Severn Valley Railway. So there was a brickworks on the west side of the large horizontal winding engine house with the colliery uh, loco shed at the top of the incline with a spur running around the hillside between the winder and head frame. 
So basically this closed in 1937, although in Shropshire it was classed as being of the forest of wire coal field. So it's quite interesting, a bit of information there for you. But let's go and see if we can find anything else around this coal mine, see if there's any extras to look at. But it is amazing to see this place uh, closed in 1937. I mean, how old the brick is as well. You can imagine this is 18th century. But it would be interesting to see what these uh, alley wires were actually used for. Quite cool. Right. So that's the back entrance out of the place. I mean, look how tall up that is. It's really tall up. But that is quite cool, seeing that uh, cable though. Uh, you're guessing that cable is definitely for the, the winding wheel. Look how old that is. I can't believe that is even still there. So right, the car mine does extend up here as well, so I think it goes further back. Oh, so we have got something else here. But this here goes down on that corner, so whatever's under there. Bear one minute. <laughs> A lot of cables down here, so there's been like quite a few dumpings. No idea what this even is. Oh, it just uh, goes from that corner, look. So what are them? No idea what these are. So whatever this was actually used for. It's quite interesting. It's got, got concrete at top, look. And goes right the way in there. Hmm, pretty interesting. Right, let's get out of here. So, right. Let's have a look what's up here, because this bit here is closed off as well. So I'm guessing this one would have been open as well here, because there is coal authority stuff here. So it says there, um, coal authority, what about a top look? So the apologise is caused by these works, so I don't know what that's about. It could be a very old sign. But looking inside it, it looks like it's been uh, capped. And see there, it looks like it's all grown over, been capped. So that would have gone under the ground as well. So I think they've put the fence line where the shafts would have been located. So yeah, that's completely capped off. So right, it's really interesting seeing these because there's multiple of them. I'm guessing this was where the big wheel thing was. There's one there, one there. And I'm guessing because this has been capped off as well. Just being a bit careful. That would have gone right the way under the ground there. Because there is multiple things there. So if I am correct, this is what this was. Picture on for you now so you can see what a winding wheel actually is. And I'm guessing what this actually is because that goes around the square. They dropped a wire down and lowered people into the shaft. So I'm guessing this is a very old one. But whether the thing was situated here and it dropped them down where it's fenced off, it's only like nearby, that's what that could be. But that's definitely this part is part of a, like a winding wheel. So right, one more look of this uh, big thing here, look. Wow. To see that's still there, that is really quite interesting. Seen uh, some interesting stuff so far, and I told you a bit of history about it. But let's go and make our way down and see if we can see any extras. So, right, what we can see here, this is actually the rail bridge for the mine. So, the train would have come right the way over and uh, come over where the top is up there. Look, so I mean, going further down, you can actually see there is actually a rail line still left here. Being a bit careful of the edge, you can see there, zooming in, there's one piece of the rail line. And then you've got another piece of the rail line sticking right the way there. So there's evidence of the old mineral railway. So right, what I want to go to is down here. So I'm having a look down the bottom. Because there is some gates here leading to something. Right, let's go and have a look. So, looking at the bottom of there, which is what I'm going to try and get to, excuse the umbrella, because it is starting to rain. Right, let's get down to it. This is actually the bottom of the, uh, the rail line, what you've just seen. Which is right the way there, look. Look at that, really old. And there's the other part of the rail line, look how old that is. Wow. 
Now the interesting part is this bit down here because I reckon this would have gone into the mine. So many, many years ago, this would have led right the way in. Yeah, this is the part I was looking for, I think. There is a section there, look. I think there would have been like an old in the wall here. But I think there is another one somewhere. And you've got the uh, the brook, what runs underneath it. So where that is, this maybe would have gone into the mine. And you can just see up there, there is an arch. So I'm thinking that's what that was for. So yeah, what you can see right there, there is a big hole in the wall. So that's going definitely behind it, because I can see, well, I can't get to it. But that looks like it goes right the way in. It's pitch black into there, because I see darkness behind that wall, no other bricks behind it. So that there could have been gone right the way on underneath. So that's probably what that was for there. Shame there was no entrances to look right the way in it. But looking down, I think that actually ends there. I don't know if there's any extras because the Baldy Brook runs further below down the bottom down there. So it is one big steep drop. I don't know if you've got to take the other path from where we come from and then walk to the bottom of it. But that's actually one part of the section, which is quite interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, looking down, you find one thing after the other. Look at that. Very old nail and a very old piece of wood. Look how old that nail is. That is so old. Wow. I didn't expect to find something like this over here. But that is dating back way back a bit because look how old, rusty that is. So is that part of an old um, part of the rail line? Or is that actually part of like, the beams, what they put on the ceiling? And it was nailed right the way through. Wow. That is definitely way old. <laughs> Right, ain't very uh, a big place to explore, seeing some of the buildings, I went down the bottom, see where there's a possible entrance in, many many years ago, seeing the shaft uh, drop points, but yeah, an interesting video, so I thought I might share with you this one, so enjoy the rest of the video I've got for you, so I've got some more pictures of the colliery, so yeah, see you later, and hit the subscribe button if you're new, and see you on the next Exploring the Black Country videos.